position of a particle is given in terms of time we need to find the trajectory and certain other things also so let's start with trajectory so position is given as ati cap minus bt square j cap so we'll write it in form of x and y because in trajectory we need the relation between x and y and we need to get rid of time trajectory is how the path will look like so it doesn't matter it it travels slow or fast on that path so we don't need time at all we just need the relation between x and y so that's what we'll do here we have time in both equations we'll eliminate that and we'll get our equation of trajectory now in second part they want the time the velocity and acceleration with respect to time so we'll just differentiate this and we'll get the velocity and acceleration in vector forms as a function of time this however acceleration is independent of time so it's a constant then time dependence of the angle between vectors w and v so if you just plot it you will see that acceleration is downwards minus 2b and velocity is in fourth quadrant the x coordinate is positive x uh, component is positive and y component is negative so it will be like this he is asking the angle theta so theta angle we can directly say it's the x component of velocity divided by y component of velocity modulus of that that is tan theta so that will be a upon 2 bt this is the answer of second part then third part and then finally mean velocity vector so average velocity it is final position minus initial position by time so initial position at t is equal to 0 is 0 and final final position is ati cap minus bt square j cap by time so this gives the average velocity